when you're making a game with Godot, there's a pretty high percentage chance you're going to want to display some text to let your player know something, unless you're making a purely textless game. What you do is you add a scene called label, and there's also a rich text label, which we'll get into after, but label is your basic text. And you can display all kinds of things here, like we'll just put hello Godot, and you'll see it come up right away up there. This label has all kinds of properties, settings, it has alignment. Alignment is actually pretty useful. So like if you made it the full width, let's just say, for example, there are other ways to do this. You set it to center, it centers it. If you set it to align right, it align rights. You can set how it aligns within that box vertically. You can set auto wrapping. So like if we make, um, you know, if I take a paragraph, that'd be cool if that worked. Um, my thing's broken, but uh, if we put a bunch of them in there, we can say, okay, what happens here? You can set the auto wrap to Word and then it wraps it there. Um, you can clip the text instead so it overruns. You can set it to uppercase. You can control all these properties with code, which is uh, nice. There's support for bi-directional text. Um, you know, those are the main things. You can also um, change its theme, which will, for example, you can set it to large. These are the baked ins, large, medium, small. And you can change these type variations. There's support for theme overrides. So you can override what the theme is giving you to change it to be a different color. Um, you can change the font file, the size, you know, you can really override all this stuff. Um, you can change a the theme too which uh, is a little bit beyond what I want to get into, but that's an option that's there. So that's how you display text and some examples of the properties. Um, from within your code, you can go and change the text yourself by setting the dot text property. So like if we had the ready callback and we just grabbed our label like this and said text is equal to set from the code, save it, run our game, it's set from the code, which is kind of nice. Um, but over here, you'll still see our old text. So that can be an area of potential confusion where like you've set some text here and you see it here, but then maybe your code's changing it. So um, that's just something to be aware of. And I generally just view setting text in here that is dynamic. I'll like put like dynamic or I'll put like um, a kind of mock-up of, of what that might be and um, whatever. So um, so that's labels and they're really easy to work with. I recommend reading more about label in the docs. Then let's look at rich text label. So rich text is when there is formatting applied like bolding or highlighting or um, those kinds of things. And you can even set the um, the markup so you can say use bb code which is cool so let's say hello world i'm rich text let's see i don't know what it wants by default so we'll just enable bb code because i know it you can do like b and that sets it to b um to bold i think you can do i for i and if we turn this off, I don't know what it wants it to be. Um... Oh yeah, here's some example. <clears throat> the labels text in BB code format. If it's enabled, it's unadvised to use the plus equal operator. Hmm. So yeah, that's, um... I would look up BB code syntax to learn more about that. And you know, that can be useful in different points. Like if you had a text box from like a visual novel guide or um, some text being displayed in a way like a character speaking, this is an easy way to get some formatting uh, automatically uh, added. But that's the basics of labels. Uh, 
there's more advanced functionality that I'd uh, love to learn and share, but for now, I think that's uh, what we got for this. All right, thanks. Bye.